We had our damage assessment teams go out into the area of Austell and do uh, damage assessments on the homes that were reported to us through 911 yesterday. And along with that, we went ahead and uh, took notice of the homes that were also damaged that had not been reported to us. So in total, we started today with a, thinking we had about 21 homes damaged and we ended up with about 50 homes. Uh, that were damaged in this storm. So there is a link available to the public for you to self-report damages. Um, please feel free to do that and attach any photos that you have so that we can track that along with uh, the rest of the information we have found that we'll be reporting to the state uh, in case there is any assistance that uh, can be provided to those homeowners. And what did you find when you're out in the neighborhood today about, about whether anybody did need anything else? So far, most every homeowner was insured and had a place to go, so that's we're very fortunate with that, that we didn't have uh, anyone that was in need of dire, dire need of assistance. The American Red Cross has not been able to get out into that area as of yet. We were able to let people know that they can call in to 1-800-RED-CROSS and report their information and, and they will contact them. Um, should they need any assistance in the future. We had one report that a person was hit in the head by an object and went to the emergency room. Um, another person suffered a cardiac incident, but other than that, we were very fortunate to have uh, really no injuries. And we will be in contact with the National Weather Service. We've actually already spoken with them and are sending them some photographs of what we have seen today. Um, they will hopefully come out here and walk that area with us next week and make a determination on whether it was a straight line wind event or a tornado.